What's up, everybody? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris. And today I've got a new to me vendor. It is Zape. They had a um, release their Christmas uh, collection. And I went in and I picked up the scents that appealed to me. Um, I left behind ones that I don't like. And you know what that would be trees and anything with mint. Um, and I think I maybe picked up. One, possibly two things that weren't part of the new releases. I'm not sure, but we'll find out because I have the box right here. And we're going to open it and sniff it and see what I think. So let's get started. All right, so I've got the boxes open from Zape. And I say boxes because after I placed my first order, which is this one here, I realized this is, you know, I didn't leave that many behind that I would be interested in. So I went back in and I ordered again. And that's just like a few cents. All right. It comes very nicely packaged. And it's all packaged up for Christmas. So we're going to carefully open this or not. Um, they did use the little wormies, the little, I like these things to be honest with you, and I do save some of it, because sometimes you want to send something out in the mail, and it comes in handy. Alright, so there's a nice card in here, Beyond Grateful, and thank you for your support, um, just a a little bit on the back, showing their social media and whatnot. Okay, so this is my first order from Zape. Um, I did receive a few scent shots and maybe a clam in some friend mail, but I have not warmed it yet, nor have I purchased from them yet. So we're going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to get what I have in this box and put it in this box and just work out of the one box again you know how i roll i like to um i like to open my stuff on camera that's just me okay well, these are pretty you guys very pretty I'm so excited. I like trying out new new vendors and whatnot. So I'm going to stick that stuffy in there. And I think we should be good to roll here. Let me move this out of the way. All right. Now, if you guys could see this room that I'm in, it is a hot mess. I've got wax everywhere. I, no sooner do I start reorganizing and getting the new wax all like, you know, dated if it needs to be dated. Sometimes I double bag things and I get more wax and then I have a mess again. Anyway, let's get back to my Zape order. All right, so the first thing I got here is snow angels how pretty are those beautiful snowflakes they're just they're good size too okay snow angels is oh yeah i lied sweet mint powdered sugar fresh cherry and coconut i guess i did this because i'm a sucker for cherry so let's see how this smells. Is there pour dates on here? No. So this one I will date myself. If they have the pour dates on it, I don't, obviously I don't bother dating it. Okay. Um, I get the coconut. Coconut's very heavy in here. This is like a minty coconut. Um, don't hate it. I will definitely give it a melt. Um, I'm not picking up too much cherry. 
but that could be because maybe, you know, they're newly poured and it may take some time. Um, powdered sugar, that just might be adding to the sweetness here. But basically, I get a coconut mint. I will I'll try it. And like I said, I don't hate mint by any means. I do like it. I like it when it's, when it accessorizes the other scents, but not, you know, doesn't want to be the star. Then I like mint because I think it does add a little something. There's a hint of it there. So I will melt it and see how it, it warms up. Okay, so this next one is Black Tie Affair. And it's Amaretto Spiked Eggnog um, Coattails and Bow Ties. I like Amaretto. Um, who doesn't like Amaretto, right? Well, a lot of people probably don't like it. Amaretto has like a cherry scent to it sometimes a cherry almond this one sounded very interesting to me this is really nice this is very nice mm. it is like a um it means body care to me definitely say body care look how beautiful that is i don't think i showed you the snowflake when i took it out Beautiful like rose, dusted with silver. This is a very pretty, soft, perfumey scent. It's very elegant. It's very classy. This is pretty. This is really pretty. And it's, like I said, it leans body care to me. This is beautiful. I would do this in my bathroom, in my bedroom. It's soft, it's elegant. Um, the amaretto is not the amaretto I'm used to smelling. But nonetheless, it's very, very pretty. And I know it's eggnog, but I'm wondering what coattails and bow, tie, bow ties are. Because I'm just getting a soft, creamy, feminine perfume. It's really pretty. Okay, this next one is, I think I got these just because they're so cute, and I'm trying to develop a fondness for this scent, because it is so popular, especially around the holidays, and that's gingerbread, and this one is called Hansel and Gretel's House, and it's gingerbread, gingerbread, graham crackers, and vanilla frosting. And look how cute these little guys are. When I take it out, I'll show give you a better look at them. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to try to... I've hit some gingerbread blends that I do like. And I'm trying to, you know, get the nose to start smelling things differently. You know, like trees and mint. And, oh, this is very, very good. It's a beautiful gingerbread scent. It's not that harsh. Sometimes ginger is gingerbread is really harsh and a dry scent. I think I said that before in another video. It's like dry. You know, like where all you smell is like the spice. And this is not, this is creamy and sweet. Look how, there's a nice size, right? It's creamy and it's sweet and it's just, it's beautiful. That gingerbread is so nice because it's not the type of ginger. Sometimes ginger and it's just like overpowers. And this is just perfect. And it's beautiful. I really like this a lot. Okay, I'm very much looking forward to warming this. And I will hang on to it before warming. Um... Let it cure a little bit more. Um, again, this is my first real experience here with Zape. So if you, any of you have experience with this vendor, if you could drop me some tips below in the um, comments, like how much do you warm? 
Do you use your Scentsy warmers? Do you use tea light? Do you use hot plate? Do you do a mixture of both? Um, and how long do you cure it? Is this like good to go quickly or is does it perform better with time? Okay, so we have some samples here. Let me get to that. This stuff's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, how cute is this? Okay, this is Haunted Mansion. And they're like a pair of vampire teeth. Don't know the scent notes of Haunted Mansion, but we're going to smell it. Okay. Um, what is that? I can't put my finger on the scent note. It's familiar to me. Almost has like a coffiness scent to it with dust. I get like a dusty, you know, musty. So like an old house. That's kind of nice. Yeah. I'll have to look up the scent notes on that and see what it's all about. There might be some left online from the Halloween collection. Okay, so here we have a sample body butter sugar scrub called Candy Canes. I love sugar scrubs, you guys. And I am all about sampling this. And yeah. It smells nice. Yes, I know it's candy canes, but it smells nice. And it's different, you know. I mean, if you're going to, that could be very, I'm just checking. The texture is beautiful on here. It's very um, it's thick, and I like that. I don't know if you could see it, but it doesn't move, and it's not full of oil, so it's thick and gripping-like. kind of did a, oh, yeah, and there's an oil in it because when I'm scrubbing it on my hand, I could feel the, the oil come out. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I will use that. I just gotta get the sugar off. I'll just vacuum later. Gonna have to vacuum anyway because I have these little worm things all over those little paper things. This is nice. I appreciate this because now I know. And I could use this in the shower, decide if I like it, and shop their site and get some other bath and body product, right? Okay. All right. These things are so darn cute. This is, okay, this is the one, um, this is not part of the holiday collection. This is called Franken Cake. It's banana nut bread, pumpkin streusel, and caramel drizzle. Look at this. Well, when I take it out, you'll look. I'll show you. I love shapes. I think shapes are fun. Oh, that is really good. Oh, I like you. It's bread. And it's, you know, you can get banana nut bread, but it tends to be sometimes so sweet it smells like banana cake, which is fine, too. This smells like bread. Banana bread. This is really, really nice. What a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. How cute is that, right? It's a good sized piece of wax. This is fun. I did not buy any of their clams because the shapes are more fun. I know clams store better and easier, um, but it's all right. I wanted the shapes. Okay. So that is Franken cake, and it is really, really nice. Like I said, you get bread, and you get the you do pick up the pumpkin in here. Caramel's very slight and a little sweetness to it. 
but I like the fact that it smells like banana nut bread. And the banana was a nice banana. It wasn't like candy banana. It was it was really good. Okay. Oh, how cute is this? This next one's called Frosty Palace. Vanilla ice cream, marshmallow cream, chocolate fudge drizzle, and crispy waffle cones. Cute. Okay. It smells like it smells like ice cream. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. Seriously? Does it get any cuter? The waffle cone. It's like creamy chocolate, but not, and it's milky chocolate. It's not like dark chocolate or sour. Because I know some sometimes, you know, chocolate come off a little sour. It, no. Oh, this is so good. Creamy and yummy. You get the waffle cone, vanilla ice cream with chocolate, and, and that marshmallow is just, it's creamy. It's so good. This is really, really good. Okay. I don't know if that was a Christmas selection or not. Like I said, there may have been a couple in here that I didn't pick up from the Christmas. Um because I wanted to, you know, try this instead, but, okay, let's see what else we got, okay, this one's called Always Slaying, and it is sweet orange and berry, spice clove, warm tobacco with caramel, vanilla, and bergamot. Oh my gosh, and how cute is this, you guys? It's a snowman. I love this. This is a beautiful winter smell. The berries, okay, so the berries, and oh my gosh. And there's the spiciness and there's a little bit earthiness from the tobacco but the berries are per, are perfection in here I mean so authentically they're not like I don't want to say fake well yeah fake they're just they feel like real berries the juice from a real berry. Oh my God, it's so good. I don't smell the caramel. You do get the bergamot, but it is, it's subtle. It is just, I think that bergamot is just bringing out the berry notes and the clove, but it's not that in your face clove. It's just, just right. And like I said, the tobacco is just there ever so this is beautiful I mean beautiful always slaying this one's great you guys oh yeah yeah I absolutely love that one okay now we have Christmas in a cup oh these are cute And it is eggnog, sugar cookies, espresso, and sweet cream. They're always slaying. I can still smell it. It's just, it's still there in my nose. So pretty. Come on. 
I get this out without ruining it. Look at cute. Oh my god, it smells like ginger in here. Is there ginger in here? No. Sweet cream, sugar cookies, eggnogs, and espresso. Mm. That is a creamy, creamy espresso and sweet. Beautiful. I'm almost picking up a little gingery here. That is, oh, mm, this is good. This is really good. Okay. So far, and I'm almost through the box, these scents are phenomenal. And I'm really, really glad because I hesitated. I almost didn't do it. I thought, uh, I don't know. I shouldn't be trying another vendor now, especially with more fall, winter, Christmas scents. But, you know... I didn't want to mess up. I have that FOMO, you know. This is called Elves Who Brunch. I am curious about this one. I know exactly why I picked this one. Buttermilk pancakes, maple syrup, buttery toast. We could stop there, right? It's these next two cents. Eggs and bacon. I says, for nothing else, I've got to see for myself or smell for myself. Oh my God. Yes, you can smell it. But you got, it's so good. It's not in your face. Look how cute. Little pieces of waffle. It's not like, oh my God, it's eggs and bacon. No, it's pancakes and toast and syrup. And then you've got that hint of egg and bacon there just to make it like a full plate, a full breakfast plate. And it smells so good. Oh, I would recommend this to anybody. That is that is really, really good. That eggs and bacon really transform the pancakes. It makes it like more real. Like, yeah, that's a real breakfast. That's, you know what, that was a beautiful, like, Christmas morning. Put that in there with some of the coffee and, yeah. Okay, so this next one is called Christmas Magic. And it is winter apple, juicy cranberry, and white birch. Okay. Let's see what we got here. White birch. Sometimes I'm okay with, you know. Okay, um, we're a little heavy on the birch, just saying. But again, that's no fault of the vendor. That's me being me. Um, it's heavy. For me, I think this is a little too much tree. Um, you know, I find with the, the birch that sometimes you can, I can get away with that. But here I am picking up a lot of tree note. And that's fine. I know people who like trees. My boyfriend happens to like tree scents, so it's not a wash for me. It's good that I get to try it. But I did not, I, my nose wasn't picking up the apple or the cranberry. Um, but again, that could be me because when I smell the tree, then I can't smell anything else. I get all like, you know, but that's, again, it's fine. You know, I knew going in what I was doing. Okay, this next one's called Santa Baby. And it is vanilla bean, creamy marshmallow, and pink sugar crystals. I'll show you this one. How cute. I love these shapes. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, you guys. Okay, so you have this beautiful vanilla and creamy marshmallow. Okay, it's just so decadent and creamy. Mmm. And then you add the pink sugar. 
and you get like um again a beautiful perfume note but not like it's sweet and just soft and how cute right look how cute i love how the <laughs> you guys this is so pretty and it's like the pink sugar is soft it's not harsh at all this is a beautiful sweet sweet perfume i cannot wait to warm this if i knew i could i would do it right now it smells so so good yeah i'm very very pleased with everything i've got here i'm very pleased um that's yeah that was the last one Okay, um, this is just, every scent was amazing. Yes, I know I have this tree one here that I'm a little in the mint. Okay, those were my, those were my let me try and see. I will warm a bit of the mint one um, because like I said, I don't hate mint. So I'm going to try it. And see if you know what happens when, it, when it's on warm what it turns I think yeah, this always slaying I love this this is gorgeous and right here this gingerbread holy moly is that good that is really good um, not disappointed at all by that that was just I smell it again. It is such a beautiful gingerbread. I mean, it's soft. It's not like a harsh gingerbread cookie. You know, it's soft and like a, like a moist piece of gingerbread. Just the actual bread, not a cookie. Delicious. So, so good. And to this elves who brunch with the bacon and eggs in there. Oh, my God. You know what? I could continue on and say, oh yeah, I like this one. I like, I love everything is just spectacular, meticulously done, beautiful job. It's just, it just looks so beautiful sitting here on my desk. Gorgeous. Very happy. And again, please let me know in the comments what your experience is with this vendor and how long do you wait? What do you use for your warmers? Um, because I'm anxious to get started and start melting some of this because, yeah, very nice. Okay, so I want to thank you for watching. Um, I am going to have my, do a short video, hopefully tonight. So it'll either upload tonight or tomorrow. And um, about my giveaway because I did reach my 500 subscribers and I want to thank each and every one of you that subscribed. Um, so that video will be coming shortly. Keep your eye open for today, tonight or tomorrow. And uh, I'm losing my train of thought. So it's coming. So thank you. Thank you everybody for who takes your time out of your day, your busy lives, your busy schedule and use your free time or any you know moment that you have to yourself to watch a video that I uploaded because I do appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, I love doing this because I love this wax stuff and it's just nice to be able to talk about it because I don't have anybody to talk to about it here. So yeah, this is great. Okay. Have a great day. Great night. Whenever you happen to be watching this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.